The smash hit of 1968 was this by uh, Otis Redding. Sitting on the morning sun, I'll be sitting where the evening comes, watching the ships roll in. Then I'll watch them roll away again. Sitting on the dock of the bay, watching the tide roll away. Ooh, I'm sitting on the dock of the bay. record uh, and the only sad thing about it was that uh, Otis Redding had died uh, been killed in a plane crash uh, about two days after we recorded that and uh, uh, in, in December the 10th 1967 which is my birthday I remember that and uh, but anyway that uh, was released in 1968 and it smash hit throughout the year and it all reminds me uh, of what I'm going to uh, talk about in a moment um, because uh, the uh, it's a, it's a story about a, a guy who leaves uh, his hometown in Georgia on the east coast of America and travels 2,000 miles to seek his fortune because he's got nothing there. On the west coast in California and he arrives in San Francisco and he's sitting on the dock of the bay and he ends up sleeping there, sleeping rough. Anyway, um, 1968, I'm at Goldsmiths and uh, my girlfriend, or I'm afraid soon to be an ex-girlfriend I'm living with in Battersea, uh, says to me, that I should apply for a postgraduate course at the Royal College of Art of the Slade. And I said, this is crazy, I'll never get into those sort of places. She says, oh, I think you would with your sort of work. Yeah, I think you may. Why don't you give it a go? Um, so uh, I asked some people at college, other students and things, what do you think? And one of them said, well, uh, uh, the Royal College of Art is for whiz kids and the Slade is for nutters. So when I went back and told Susan this, she said, well, you must apply for the Slade then. It's perfect for you, which I did. And... Uh, you know, I, I, I couldn't believe it because um, I sent off my uh, my portfolio and everything and I got a letter inviting me for interview. Couldn't believe it. Here we go. I swing my 1956 VW Beetle registration number RTR301 with its minuscule rear window through the main entrance of University College London on Gower Street because I have a new wooden portfolio made by myself no less. It is the only way I can get the heavy beast here, so now I'll have to explain all this to those two up top hatted gentlemen uh, guarding the entrance, one of whom is now walking towards the driver's door. Good morning, sir. Can I help you? Uh, I've got an interview at the Slade School of Fine Art uh, in Sculpture. Uh, my portfolio is heavy. It's on the back seat. Oh, yes. So you have a uh, sculpture in that box? Uh, no, it's empty. Empty, sir? Well, they took the work out when I applied, so the Slade uh, has it. But they asked me to collect the box from the submission centre next to the National Gallery. They didn't want it, so I'll put my work back in this box after my interview. Really, sir? We were not informed you were arriving by car and expecting to park. Well, I'm very sorry, but my interview for sculpture is in ten minutes. I'm very sorry. Please look. And I pushed the letter out, inviting me for interview out of the driver's window. And he takes it and scrutinises it and says, Well, sir, you'd better park over there in front of the Slade. I'll give you an hour, no longer, please. Much appreciated, very much, thank you. I park and drag the portfolio off the back seat and up the steps as quickly as I can. God, it is heavy. Why did I make this ridiculous thing? Luckily, another beetle, that's what they're called, in a top hat, must have been my struggles through the window before he emerges on cue to hold open the sacred door of the Slade. Good morning, sir. Interview? Yes. Would you have your letter of invitation with you? Sir? Uh, yes, here it is. Thank you. Hmm. Well, according to this, you have your interview in five minutes. So you better get your skates on, sir. Yes, I know. Now, sir, if you turn right and descend the stairs, over there you will reach a corridor. Turn left and you'll see a chair opposite a room on the right. You'll need to wait there. God. Go down here. Down there, sweating. Pulling this fucking thing I've built. There it is, collapsed into chair. Shit, I've made it. Sir, indeed, in an art school. Sir. And then I wait. Fifteen minutes it must be until the door swings open. Grills? Mr. Vaughan Grills? Hello, I'm Dick Clawton. Thank you so much for coming. 
Vaughan Grills, uh, may I introduce you to Reg Butler and Philip King? They already have the photographs of my sculpture spread out on the floor, hands shaking all round. Reg Butler and Philip King look almost identical, apart from the fact that Reg Butler is old and wearing red socks. Both wear cavalry twill trousers and cavalry twill ja colour jumpers. Dick Clawton is in a tweed jacket and tie and he is smoking a pipe. All three are quietly polite, speaking posh accents. This is quite terrifying. Nothing like Goldsmiths and certainly not Nottingham or any of the other art schools I've dragged my portfolio around. Relaxed, unhurried, intimidating. What does all this remind me of? Oh, of course, that interview at St Paul's, age seven. Uh, this visual verbal stuff is quite interesting, muses Reg Butler. And then Philip King. He gestures towards my photos of Ku Klux Klan, the drunken clergyman, Wimpy Tree, and a day at the seaside. There's a drunken clergyman down there. I say, could you say something about these sculptures? Do take your time. You reach the last one, Reg Butler interjects. Well, quite droll. Back to Philip King. What are you doing now? Well, I'm just on the art teacher's course at uh, Goldsmiths. Yes, I didn't quite mean that. Uh, are you managing to continue making sculpture? Do you find time? Well, I try. I it means working at the Hammersmith Evening Institute in Lime Grove. I'm afraid the work I do there is modest, though. Uh, actually, it's a bit sad after the stuff I used to make at uh, Wolverhampton, where I had this time and the space. I've just got these two sculptures. Oh, yes. Have you done anything uh, else other than these since leaving art school at Wolverhampton? Oh, yes, well, I've just had an exhibition in the underground. Oh? Well, last summer I had a job in Accrington in Lancashire, where my ex-girlfriend is from, in the drawing office of a gas fire company. I designed two of their new gas fire badges. Reggie Butler fixes me. And the connection with the underground. Oh yes, well last week I was standing waiting for a train in an underground station when I saw a big poster opposite for a new gas fire and my badge was on it, about six inches wide and I've since seen it in other underground stations. Dick Clawton takes out his pipe and have a quiet chuckle. <laughs> Philip King smiles warmly. Reg Butler is impassive. He's now peering at my application form. Where are you living now? Newark. That's up in Nottinghamshire, isn't it? How is it you at Goldsmiths? Well, uh, I've just broken up with my girlfriend and I'm between living in my old place in Battersea with her and a new place in Lewisham. I hope to move in next week. So I suppose my address is RTR 301. What? Well, that's the number plate of the car. It's a Beetle. It's parked outside. Right there. Right outside. Well, says Reg Butler, I don't think we have any more questions, do we? Do you have any for us? No, thank you. But thank you for bothering to see me. I start packing up my work. Reg Butler then says, Well, thank you so much for coming and uh, showing us your work and talking about it. Um, impressive portfolio. Everyone nods. Yeah. Polite smiles all round. Handshake and taken aback. Any work in particular? Oh, no, 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 I mean that splendid box you've made. Uh, it's clearly built to last a lifetime. I drag said splendid box into RTR 301, drive out of the Slade, the University College, and down Gower Street. Well, I don't know how to put this. I, uh, uh, about three days passed and uh, I was living in the back of the car and uh, my mother couldn't get hold of me. And she, anyway, she rang Goldsmiths and she said, could I ring her? And I wonder if something terrible has happened. And uh, so I rang home and uh, she said, there's a letter here from you, for you from, it says University College London on it, Slade School of Fine Art. 
uh, do you want me to open it and read it out? He said, yes, please. Anyway, she read it out and um, I still can't believe it. Uh, they offered me a, a place at the Slade. Let's play this.